Wait a second. Wait a friggin did second. you have this this whole time? What? Yeah, you, did you had did you learn this life up? I guess like I always would skip through it whenever they leveled oh, me up. Oh, that could have healed you, bro. Oh, well now I know. I didn't know when I got it. Because like I said, I was just kind of skipping through. Because there's so much dialogue, you just kind of mindlessly press A a lot of the time. And with the um, with the grinding, you kind of just phase out. You kind of just yeah, it's tough to kind of be invested 24/7 on this game. Yeah. But, so, uh, I mean, I didn't do too much in between, like, this and the the town. No, you just talked to some people, got to learn about it. Like, I'm pretty much just gonna skip all the stuff that you did. I missed some people. Um, yeah, it was just kind of context. Wait, 160? Oh, hey, what happened? Did <gasps> it save? Does it oh, save? Oh, I think it does save ah. immediately. Oh, shit, okay, well. Damn it. Even Ooh. I learned something new. So, no wonder we learned oh, something new. How did that zombie? What's he gonna buy? The zombie's not gonna buy anything. <laughs> he looted your bills, bro. Let's see. Buy like a Louis Vuitton bag. See, I would say with this cane, like a pimping out other zombies. How do you? Do they give you? Because I'm sure there's some people you can talk to that give you a like. Oh, you need to go to this town or do X or Y before you can move on. Or no, you just walk through the town. Um, like oh, like to figure out where to go next. I, I guess there's no like in town sort of like you got to solve this or that like a mystery and then that kind of leads you to the next town you know mm, what I'm saying? In this game that lady would have told you that Peepee -pee was missing and then you'd come Talk to this asshole the mayor <laughs> Citizen I would like or I know you would like to help your town. Well child has strayed into the cemetery and I'm up for re-election soon you must help. Please help me. I can't go get him bit now if I want to get reelected. This game speaks. What? It speaks. What? This politician is more concerned about getting reelected than than the little girl that's missing. But he was also saying that he, he didn't have to tell you the girl was missing. He could have been like, eh, ah, blab a boop. Ain't nothing. Return Ain't her nothing to, to me alive and I'll, and surely I'll be a hero. Okay, there you go. There's a... Er, <laughs> I mean, you'll be a hero. Uh, 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 yeah. Those I Japanese mean, casting shade on us. <laughs> it's not wrong, really. They're not. That's not gonna, the sad part. We can make a political statement here, but uh, <laughs> it happens. No, we all know no, it happens. This guy's yeah. a zombie, too. They kind of... They have, like, a tell. Yeah, I think there's more... So there's zombies running around town, and yet you're here beating up hippies. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you think we would, you know, it's like The Walking Dead, you'd think we'd come together to have a common enemy, but... I think the left and the right would come together and <laughs> <laughs> reach across the aisle and really just work together to, to, to solve all life's problems. It's a bipartisan issue to get rid of the zombies. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, like, that's the whole thing with, uh, like, if we were attacked by aliens, we would, we would group together as, as human beings and fight against the aliens. That yeah. Whole, uh, the whole debacle. Um, but we as humans like to be on teams with each other and fight other people, like sports teams. Have yeah. a sort of nationalism, but on different scales. Yeah, and that's that's the sad part that it would, like that we're so confident that it would take an alien invasion to get people <laughs> together. It's kind of like to group us as a as a human race and fight against outsiders. You would think. We could, you know, find a better way. What if, if if that's the case, speaking as like going from like a sports team to like politics to universe, you know, like humans versus aliens, what would it take to get aliens and humans to work together to, to that, fight yeah. a greater a greater <laughs> enemy? There you go, that's that's the answer. What no what what would be the reasoning for us to come together? A greater threat? To the universe? Yeah, they're like bee boo doo bap, bap, and we're like, yes, we need a <laughs> exactly what you said. We gotta fight <clears throat> this. We have to fight God. <laughs> we have the to, next. We have step. to pull a. I'm not gonna spoil anything for other games that who knows if anyone's played. Dogs, what are you talking about? <laughs> the viewer's not gonna know. I know. Yeah, I know, I know you know because you've got me to play it. But, like, if I said the game's name, then it would already spoil it, wouldn't it? Yep. Well, then I can't say the game. It rhymes with Beano Slade. <laughs> Beano Blade. Beano uh, Blade. Calendars. <laughs> Marie Calendars. Pot Pies. Uh, 
Damn, this guy can't even smash you right. <laughs> I'm just a little boy. I'm just a wee lad fighting centipedes with a bat. Does it ever, like, grow in scale? You know how, like, you're starting so small, like, fighting centipedes, and then at the end of the game you're, like, destroying alien races with, like, a... I don't know, a Gatling gun on like the back of a, I don't know, a warthog or something. <laughs> <laughs> Why does went Halo all of a sudden? It actually does at the end. Um, the section is call called Mount Itoi. Itoi. And it is one of the hardest sections in like any Earthbound game. Mm -hmm. Like, it's perfect for grinding, but. It kicks everybody's ass. That's why I always overgrind early, and uh -huh. then I kind of like coast in there. Because mm -hmm. if you go off like recommended levels, you will struggle there. Like mm -hmm. you will have to kind of repeat what we're doing now of just staying close to home and healing. Oh yeah. Fight ones and heal. Like they'll use like PK Thunder Y, which will kill you instantly. Jeez. Yeah, like it, it, for what? some reason the freaking game designer was like. Fuck these kids when playing my game. <laughs> it's real life. Life is scary. It's real life. You're gonna die. You climb a mountain filled with like all sorts of bad shit, you better get ready to die. <laughs> You're gonna die and lose half your money and then come back alive talking to your dad. <laughs> but real dad. life. But, but dad. But dad. So I hope we can afford that wooden baseball bat, cause... I was... After, after that fight I was gonna go talk to the phone and see how much dad was gonna give me. How much of daddy's money I can, I can siphon. Well, cause see, my concern is, since we lost half of our money, we are now even more at a disadvantage than we were before. That's what this game wants. It's it's kind of a catch-22. It's like you can go and grind and pot potentially lose half your money, or you can go in, like, with not as much... Uh, I mean, like, no, it's a repeating circle is what I mean. Repeating whatever. Because then you lose money, and then you can't buy the good weapons, and then you get stuck fighting yeah, yeah, with, like, like, lesser weapons. So the, the deal with the yo-yo is it's just not as accurate as the bats. I don't know. I, think I know in were... Earthbound that's the case, but I don't know yeah. about this one. I'd rather just jump for the big one. There's never really a point where it's like, Ness, you have to save the world. Kind of like in the first game. Mm -hmm. In this one, it's like, you just kind of live your life. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, there is a point. You, when you get to Magic Ant, which all you Smash Bros players will recognize. Magic Ant? Is that like, that, that seems like it would be a place that's kind of further in the game. Mm -mm. It's a very quirkily designed game. Like, I don't think it was designed to be a fun game. I think it was designed <laughs> to be a real life game, you know? Like, a real life game? Like, this is what life is really like. It's hard, it's difficult, it's scary. You know, Ness is a, or Ninten, he's a little boy. He's growing up. He's gonna meet a girl. Mm. He's gonna fall in love. Uh -huh. Or maybe he won't. You have decide. a family. Get a white picket fence house. The this dog. This was the 80s. Well, the 80s. It was the dream. It's a very 80s hippie right there. <laughs> and now he's dead. It's one of the hardest RPGs on the original NES. Mm -hmm. Just because of like how strong the enemies are compared to you. Like, like nobody really play tested it. Oh, I see. They probably didn't have a team for that. I don't. I don't <laughs> think they did. I think they kind of just like. He's never really made a game before, they trusted him, but they were like, you know, you can have our C team, mm -hmm. whereas B and A team are going to be making like Legend of Zelda and, you know, Final Fantasy and all those better games. And yet this game still did really well in Japan, even though it wasn't, didn't have all these extra things. I do wonder how good it did, because I know it's loved, right. but well, I don't know if this game did. The Japanese version was actually even worse than the American version that was never released until recently. Like more difficult? Uh, more tedious. Oh. Um, there was no run button, so this is how <laughs> we'd be playing the game if we were playing on the Famicom. Yeah. Like old school Pokemon. Except yeah. for the bike, I guess. Uh, I'm guessing you don't get a bike in this one. Nope. Well, plus the map is like exponentially bigger than Pokemon, so... Really? I mean, Pokemon's pretty grand as it is. I mean, you've seen how much area we've traversed. Yeah, but I mean, it wasn't crazy. How many towns are there? It's like a whole. Oof. Well, they tell you all from the beginning. Where's, uh... Where's Magic Camp? What is available? Oop. LA, Youngtown, Spookhands. LA. <laughs> it's nice. Oh, yeah. 
I LA. never got that. L.A. Is L.A. a big town? I don't know. I actually, like, I never, I don't even know which one L.A. is. But I never got that pun until now. Japanese are quirky, man. All right, <laughs> so it's time to cut it. Grinding as heck, man. Thanks for, yeah, thanks. <laughs>